well, here we are. A few days before, uh, actually, we're in the middle of traveling right now, if you want to look at it technically. Anyway, uh, just a few things before I take my little trip to the States. Uh, one of the big things, I've really been thinking heavy about, uh, well, not exactly Hillary Clinton as much as, as, as what they call it, they used to say, uh, follow the money trail. So in other words, um, what, what this means, and what I'm getting at, is, uh, is basically, um, what is the common denominator with all this uh, bad, bad doings in politics or whatever have you? I mean, you look at somebody like Hillary Clinton, and she's a public service, so serving all her life, and then all of a sudden she's a, a millionaire, you know. <laughs> now Bernie Sanders has been a public service all, all his life, but he's not a millionaire. So, uh, you know, how does that work, you know? Uh, plus, there's this thing. I've been, um, uh, every once in a while, you know, I get into somebody. Uh, lately, I've been into Judge Joe Brown. Um, he's a man from the 60s. He, he was hanging out with, you know, the, the Black Studio Union. He was hanging out like pre-Panthers kind of thing, you know. And he has a lot of history. He knows a lot of history. One of the things he was saying, he's got to check this out. Is that, for instance, Barack Obama, what people don't realize about him, I mean, uh, yeah, forget about the, 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 the Kenyan father and the, and the American mother. I remember he had a, um, uh, an adoptive father or a stepfather, if you will, whatever you're calling this, an Indonesian uh, father. Now, what was his thing? Nobody ever talks about him. He's 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 there. He's a, he's into the petrochemicals. You know what I mean? He's he's into the like like like. He has this whole thing with uh, with Goldman Sachs. He said Goldman Sachs, really? Yeah, like you know, it's Goldman Sachs. It's Goldman Sachs had you know, Tim Geithner and all the rest of those people that supposed to have bailed out Wall Street, but they got money and they they were rich now. It doesn't matter. Those people are the same Goldman Sachs that was like pays Hillary Clinton a lot of money. Hey, Barack Obama, Hillary Clinton, Sachs, hey, there's a, there's a through line there. Wow, let's think about this. Uh, why are we talking about issues when all of the issues have, um, deal with money, with, with, with monetary things? And the people that are in charge of the monetary things, when Charles put in charge of the monetary things, are like the Goldman Sachs kind of people, what they call the Wall Street people. Now remember, these, these, these people don't really make anything. They just finagle. <laughs> finagle, you know, trust one here, the hidden thing there, da da da. So when I look at this kind of election, you know, if I says, oh, it's the establishment against the um, anti step whatever, you know, whatever they think the fight is. Well, the bottom line, it really is these banksters against, can't be everyone else because some people are bought into this. There's this whole thing. One of the things that Joe Brown was saying is that in Machiavelli, you know, the prince, uh, he's, he was saying, look, one of the things you, you guys want to do is you want to make it so that the, the, the citizens, the peasantry, think that they can become you. You know, give a little in there. You know, and so, so that's what's been happening. We won't tear down the system because everybody thinks they're going to win the lottery. You know, they're going to be a part of the aristocracy. They're going to be a part of the rulers. And when you see a little slip goes to the, the, some, some, some symbolic thing of some entertainer or, or even, a, even a business person uh, slips through and say, oh, see, that, that person slipped through. Well, not they don't say slipped through. That person can do it, so you can do it too. Whoa, wait a second. The game is not rigged. The game is just the game. And unless you're not playing the game or unless you've got some hand up in the game, unless you've got some lineage in the game, then, well, your game is going to be off. So I, I, I say all that just to say, wow, I'm going into the belly of the game. Actually, the game is all over the world right now because everybody buys into this. They can be the aristocracy. They, they can prey on, on, on the downtrodden. So it's a downtrodden against everybody else. And everybody else is all those people that buy into this system, this system that, uh, that doesn't uh, reward everyone. It preys on everyone. When I say everyone, I mean a large majority. That's what I mean by everyone. So that's just, that's just me talking to you from the Patterson's Technotrain to bed, letting you know what I only suspect.